And speaking of Texas, several weeks ago, while many of us were still in the shelter in place mode, I had a chat with a couple there. Many of you likely know Joanna and Chip Gaines. One day I just had a random idea to direct message Chip on Twitter to ask if he and Joe ever had the time. Could we shoot the breeze on Zoom? Never did I ever think he would actually reply, but as luck would have it, he did. And so back in May, Chip, Joanna, and I had that chat about life. Is our, is our thing on? Can you hear us, Anna? Can you see us? I did my hair for you. I haven't done my hair in a long time. All right. <laughs> well, thank you, Joe, for doing your hair. Chip, thank you for putting a hat on. Yes, yes, <laughs> he, yes, He wore yes. his clean white T-shirt. Yes, look you. how clean I look. This chat was in May, May 22nd to be exact. And back then, Joanna, Chip, and their kids were hunkered down at home in Waco, Texas. Hey, I need you to grow up. Far away from making the television they had been known for. So what have you been doing? What have we been doing? We've... And it's been a busy, busy and, and an odd couple of months, you know. But the reason we've appreciated this opportunity to kind of take a pause and take a break is, is, is it's really given us a little opportunity to reevaluate just about everything that we do. For us, it's one of those things where it's like the perspective shift um, has been so valuable. And it's like this reset that we all get to kind of say, okay, this didn't matter as much. Now what matters, I think what a lot of us are finding is our relationships, our family. Family at the Gaines house isn't a small gathering. They have five children, a farm, and all that comes with. It was a lot of together, a whole Texas lot of it. We always joke that Chip, he loves to connect. He loves quality time. <laughs> I like my own time <laughs> in the corner. I love to snuggle. She he doesn't like to, to be touched. Like this talk. drives Joe nuts. And speaking of driving Joe to something. How did you all meet? So I worked for my father for almost 10 years. Um, he owned a Firestone store here in Waco. So I helped him sell tires. <laughs> I knew how to rotate and balance tires. Little did she know, I would I would get my brakes uh, done like uh, two times a month, whether they needed them or not. So I would just sit in the lobby, like hoping and praying that she would accidentally walk by. But one day we, we finally crossed paths. by each other. In the five minutes I've just met you, you've already done like 20 businesses. I mean, he's talked about fireworks stand. I mean, you name it, Chip has owned this business. And I was just so intrigued by it. And that's how it started. The next day I had a note on my desk that said, Chip Gaines called, call him back. And then that's it. It would become a marriage of 17 years. Children and a place in your home on television, watching them fix up more than a few homes. The latter being much of what they are known for, not as Chip or Joanna, but as Chip and Joanna. But COVID-19 centered them back to being just people in a way. And on that day that we spoke, it really just felt like three people, no one more or less than the other, trying to find a footing in an uncertain world. Do you think on the other side of this, the world might be a little more kind, a little more forgiving? And I appreciate you saying that, Jana, because for us, we won't allow it to be any other way. We are gonna do everything in our power for, for the new normal to be a kinder, uh, more humane version of that. We have that so much sense. to learn from other people. Yeah. And I think when you understand the value of everyone's story and that everyone's story is unique, everyone's story is powerful, the more you engage with them and the more you learn, the richer you are as a human being. Bottom line, I hope that we come out of this kinder and gentler and more humane. I certainly hope so too. And in case you were wondering, Chip and Joanna will be back on television. They have a network in the works slated to premiere early next year. We'll be right back.